Hello, it's the Seahawks fan with, a, with another Pokemon Go video. And we have Shiny Cryogonal released into the game. We got a special research day. A free special research with 40 checks. And another paid research for 2 bucks for another 40 checks, which isn't terrible. Going to be able to complete the tasks at a reasonable pace a lot of some other ice types spawning everywhere snow and bergmite being the main ones with increased shiny chances but the main star of the show cryogonal and uh it's pr pretty easy research to do it's also extra xp for Getting great and excellent throws. Bergmite. Have not gotten the shiny yet, so this this event would be a great time to get it. And thankfully able to complete the the research while catching the cryogonal quite easily. Able to get the berries from the woods and using that because that it is an annoying thing to have to bury Pokemon when you when you don't want to but for getting the checks for the cryogonal definitely gonna do it another cryogonal another one not shiny and the hundo CP you're looking for well this event is already gone at this point but uh, 11.99 and there are field research. I'm not going to be in an area with too many research, like Pokestops. But I will definitely be moving around a lot more if I do not get the shiny from these, from the special research. A hundo. I did. I got the hundo. That was fantastic to get it from the research. But the shiny is still missing. Although plenty of checks remaining. Getting some nice curveball throws and raspberries. Another cryogonal not shiny. Another one not shiny. I hope you had a good time with this event. Hopefully you got the shiny cryogonals you were looking for. Or if you missed out, then uh, just, just remember everything comes back at some point and anything that is rare at first is going to become easier to get in general. Spiritomb is sort of one of the things that is yet to become very easy because we only get one chance a year for, for a couple of years. Oh, well, it's a boost of 164, so over 1% chance to get the shiny once a year. <laughs> but getting everything is very, very cr difficult. And this was an all-day event, so that was very nice. Will I get the shiny? When will I get the shiny? Do I get the shiny? Stay tuned to see the shiny if I get it. Getting close to being a, being a bit of a harder part. Having to catch five Snow White and five Bergmite. But was really easily able to just speed through a lot of this research. Especially having bought the paid one. I'm not sure if I got the hundo from the free or the paid, but either way, I got the hundo, which is better than most events. Six out of ten on both. Shiny! And this was from our failed research, and I am matching the cryogonal with the great ball.
such a pretty shiny Pokemon. I am going to test out an Ultra and Great League in time. Great League first because it's much cheaper. Master League, if if I get enough requests, I did. I did save and uh cut tr trade a lot of the cryogenals for XLs for potential future ability to level fifty and I do have the Hondo so didn't end the event with enough XLs but here another field research recorded it because like yeah special research ready more checks and already did get a field research shiny eleven seventy nine misclick on a message annoying I'm sure Maybe some of you are watching that's happened, but come on, shiny, we need more shinies. In general, I did enjoy this event. They did uh, make Cryogonal a bit of an annoying Pokemon uh, to catch. Did move around quite a bit, quite fast. And I made sure to complete my routes for the day. And another shiny Cryogonal. Another research, another field research, no shinies for the special research, but that's a shiny cryogonal number two. I will take that. And it was in a contest. On to the special research continuation, 8 out of 10, getting very close. Let's see what is stage nine. Great curveball throws, excellent throw, and catch ten ice types. And let's catch the other research because it's going to be the same tasks. Excellent throw achieved, although I'm going to have to do it again. Berg ice types caught. Cryogonal not shiny. Okay, oakly dokly. And this was a surprise. A low vesta. I hatched a low vesta. My second ever. And it's a 93% with 14 attack, 13 defense, and 15 HP. It's incredible. Did not expect to get such a good one from a 10 kilometer egg for my second low vesta. I'm not going to wear candy to get the evolution. At some point, I will get the evolution. And many other people will hopefully have the access to it. A couple more field research because, yep, yeah, it's chance. Got to get some great curveball throws in a row. On the final stage... Nine out of ten on this one. No, no, a huge XL. At least I had checked. Cryogonals. Field research, no. Another non shiny, but stage ten. One of the one of the pages is going to be complete. The other one, have, yeah, I have to do five great curve authors in a row, which is annoying. It's uh, the spinner research. If you do the, uh, find a field research with that task, then it's a, it's a, it's a, a spinner task. Very annoying. But I did get a huge, huge, one, huge cryogonal, huge snowflake, which is nice at the end. And you're going to see another huge one. Oh, no. It was just chance, that one. But research completed. My cryogonals. I did end up catching 100 in the end total. Hondo is the best one I got. Very nice. 
Then it went downhill. Lowest, I got the, the minimum also. And shiny. Shiny Cryogonal, I got two shinies. And our third research, field research for a third shiny. So it was nice to get another shiny. Or the Maria. It's nice to get three. And I got two fourth place finishes, some Stardust, some XP, not too bad. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button to make it shiny, shiny like shiny cryogonal. And subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.